Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mukbang with Mark. I'm your host Mark. Today I'm going to be eating several different types of Thai food, so let's just dig right in. Alright, so right here I have Pad Thai. It's about a 3 out of 5 spicy uh, with chicken. Right here I have a Thai salad with a peanut dressing. I have some Thai spring rolls right here. And then in this container right here I have some red curry. And it's got some bell peppers, bamboo shoots, pork, uh, and then some jasmine rice right here. So uh, let's just give these uh, spring rolls a try first. That's kind of like my appetizer. So here's the sauce for it. And let's just give it a shot. So here's the egg roll right here. You guys can see that. All right, let me just make sure this is good. All right, let's just dip it right in. It's kind of like a sweet sauce here. Mm. Very good. Mm. Mm hmm Right off the bat, you get that crunchiness from the outer um, wrapper, and you can tell they deep fried, so really very good. The salad's got like, you know, bean sprouts and tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, tofu. So the Thai, uh, Pad Thai comes with the lime, oh, excuse me, the lemon. I like to just squeeze that across it all. All right. Hmm. Let's see here. Can't get some of this mixed up. Take a good bite first. There it is, guys. Uh, Mm. So good. Mm. Really nice taste. If you're familiar with pad thai, the flat noodles, bean sprouts. This is like a three level spicy. There's peanuts in here crushed. And then there's chicken as well, but it's really very nice. So. Mmm. Very good. I know guys it's been a little while. Probably by the time I upload this it'll have been like uh, two weeks but it's just been so so busy here at home. And But I hope you guys do enjoy this one. If you like Thai food. Mm. Or if you've never tried Thai food. I feel like this is a good place or a good way to start. You know, pad thai is always really standard. I imagine most people have had that before. So. Hmm. So this Thai place is called Ricky's Thai and <clears throat> you know different places deal with different ways of spiciness but this place is a five like one through five one being the most mild five being the most spicy and I find that any of the more dry less sauce type uh, dishes you know I could give this a three and be fine but that curry right here in the container Because it's a liquid, you know, that level two would be pretty good, you know. So it's almost like if it's a liquid, you got to get like one level less than whatever you can do here. I think one of my next mukbangs is going to be fire noodles. And I do enjoy those, but, and obviously this is nothing compared to that spiciness. Uh, but again, you got to decide because I've, I've gotten this here, this curry before. 
becomes like a four spicy and even a three. And it becomes almost just like very, very hard to eat because the spice level is um, just so great. So let me uh, put a little rice in my bowl here. Let's get this. And I'm dropping food everywhere. Let's see if I can carefully do this. And then I have a ladle here. So yeah, this looks really good. So I like to just put it right over the rice myself. So I'll just leave that there for now. All right, let's give this a shot. Mm -hmm. Let me see if you can see that. Definitely has some back heat to it. Mmm. The jasmine rice is great with it. It's almost like a sweet rice. It's really good. But even this number two definitely has some back heat. Mm. So I hope you guys all had a good week. Um, like I said, it's been really busy. We're, uh, just lots of stuff going on and families out of town and just lots of different things. So <clears throat> my wife and I hadn't been on like a date night in a long time and I was thinking of filming yesterday, but then I decided, you know what, ultimately the family's got to come first. And uh, so we got to go on a date night out to a nice restaurant last night. I had a really nice um, pancetta and uh, chicken ravioli. And it was handmade too, so fresh pasta to make the ravioli and it was really delicious. Uh, so. Real nice and I could appreciate that. Unfortunately, I didn't take any, I forgot to take any pictures. Usually I try to take pictures of my food, but it just wasn't happening. Man, that pad thai is just so good. Mm. So yeah, with the curry, again, it's like a creamy kind of coconut milk based. And it's not, it's totally different than like an Indian curry or something like that. So, I mean, if you like Indian curry, you know, you probably like this, but it's hard to say. They all have different kinds of tastes and they're from different regions of the world. So, um, but give it a try. And again, this place near me called Ricky's Thai is delicious. So, it's great. these a lot. Very good. Mm.
Very, very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. The salad really is a nice contrast. Kind of like cools things off a little bit. So. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> wow, so good. I can get a little more in this pad thai. It really is a good portion too, guys. These portions are the lunch size portions. So for a lunch size portion, it's not bad. All this food, like four different things, was like, including tax, might have been like $32, which to me is a really good price now. I've been here for dinner, I and mean, the portions are bigger, but like the curry's bigger, but this is a little bigger, not much. It looks like this they cut down like maybe a third less, but the price is also a third less, so it's about the same price, but the pad thai, it's like a really good deal. When I've gotten takeout for dinner, the container's the same size, it just seems like it's stuffed a little more, so I don't know, but anyways, it's a good deal, so you know, if you're in the mood for it. There you go, guys. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So, so good. So I also got some other ideas. Some people have talked about trying Indian food. Or maybe some like Israeli cuisine, somebody mentioned. So I feel like in the next few mukbang videos, I'm definitely going to try to include some Indian food. And like I said, I also have a fire noodle one coming up. I got this really special edition fire noodles, I think I said in my other video, and they finally came. It came from Korea, because this version of the fire noodles is only sold in Korea and in Singapore. So, who knew you could get them on eBay? So, somebody was selling them there. Mm. Mm. Let's try a different spoon for the rice. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. And a little more curry. Why not? There's some curry for you. Mmm. That milky taste is just so good. Mm, so good. <clears throat> so 
I see. Mm. So, <clears throat> the other thing that's happening today is the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Not sure if there's any Olympics fans out there. You might not even watch the video to this point, but I am a fan of the Olympics. I love watching the summer and the winter games. And, of course, if you haven't already heard, I guess unless you've been living under a rock, the Olympic Games this year for the winter are being held in Korea, Pyeongchang, Korea. Um, and, uh, actually they were broadcast live this morning at like 6 a.m. Eastern time in the United States, but, you know, most of us will probably end up watching it in the evening. Um, but anyways, uh, it's a pretty cool time and, uh, I know I really enjoy it. It's always nice to root for your home country on the world stage. And uh, the winter sports are quite just the athleticism that comes from those athletes. So that's kind of my take on it. Um, I'm sure I won't catch everything because obviously being that it's, I believe, 12 or 13 hours ahead of America, a lot of stuff's going to be have to be broadcast, not live, unless you're up half the night watching it. But I imagine it must be a really cool experience for those athletes involved. And... Certainly Korea is putting their mark on it as well, which is great. And uh, I got to catch a little bit of that ceremony this morning before work. And uh, it was really cool. You know, the opening ceremony is very straightforward. You know, obviously they have a, sh you know, they put on some kind of a big entrance and then they have all the teams, you know, coming up. So anyways, if you get a chance to check that out, I'm a big fan of that. So I think I'll be watching that again tonight. Hmm. So basically inside these, and I didn't say it before, probably, you know, it's the fried dough and there's glass noodles and there's some other spices and things like that. But uh, it's just really simple, but with that sauce right there. Mmm. It's really very tasty. Just delicious. Very filling. I'm de filling. I'm definitely gonna be saving some of this for the family. But it's really, really, very good.
Well, maybe we'll take a few more bites. I'm just gonna taste some of the, just the, uh, the liquid from the curry. Man, guys, you can basically eat this as a soup alone. It's so good. I mean, it, again, it is spicy. You can see some of the red in it, but I don't know if you can, but nah, you're not gonna be able to see. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> very, very good. Now we'll take one more bite here. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. Save the rest for later. Alright, last bite. Very good. Wow, so again, like five out of five, guys, for this place called Ricky's Thai. Very good. Again, I had the pad thai, the red curry, the Thai salad, and the uh, Thai egg rolls, and they were really, really good. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Mukbang with Mark. Thanks for stopping by or eating with me or just watching. The channel's grown because of all you guys. Please, if you haven't already done so, please think about hitting that subscribe button. And uh, again, just check out some of those other videos if you get a chance. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, Mukbang with Mark. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a great weekend, and please come back next time for another video. Thanks.